Ortiz and Aspilicueta quotes. Often in Spain you're winning 2-0, there are 15 minutes left, and it's as good as over. You control it, and the tempo drops. In England, that doesn't happen. They put another striker on, long balls into the area, free kicks, corners. They push you back. I'm a defender, and my first job is to make the team secure at the back, that's my primary responsibility. Caesar's not even that hard. But I suppose Aspilicueta is. Some said my name was too difficult to pronounce and could they call me Dave. It's stuck. It's also done affectionately. Sometimes people say to me, ah, you're not really Spanish, you're British. I always learned that to play well, you have to train hard, so every time I go on the training pitch, I try to give my best and to improve. People see the nice side of the game, but behind it all, there is a sacrifice that they don't see, the pressure, the repercussion, the way that impinges on your life. It is always interesting to play against a team that has many of the best players in the world. A team is constructed with time and automatismos habits, mechanisms. I certainly feel appreciated at Chelsea. Robin Van Persie quotes. When I look at a football pitch, I suppose, yes, I see it as my canvas. I see solutions, possibilities, the space to express myself. I am always looking for ways to be creative, to gain an edge. What I need to address are the situations when people are taking it upon themselves to think for me, make assumptions, or interpret things as if they are me. Last time I checked, my head was still attached to my body, so I'm the only one who knows exactly what I'm feeling, and that is not what I or the fans have been reading. Dennis Burkkamp is, in my eyes, still the master. The fact that he never won the Champions League, the European Championship, or the World Cup does not take anything away from his greatness as a player. I wasn't artistic in drawing or painting, but I think I am artistic in sport. I think I'm always looking for the ultimate, the maximum. It's a challenge that excites me. Equals equals great players must always produce and at any time or in any game. Give them a ball and a pitch, and they will show what they've got. That relaxed, calm spirit you don't really have when you are young. Playing for a Champions League place is not enough. It is not my target, but it is a target we have to take. I don't see things the way my parents do. They can look at a tree and see something amazing, whereas I just see a tree. That's not to say I don't appreciate its beauty. When I watch the sea in somewhere like Sardinia, I see the beauty in that. When I was five, I joined the club, Excelsior, the club of crawling in, in the first division. I was always training. On a free afternoon, I did individual work without putters, my youth trainer. Not with the idea growing to be a star, but for fun. Equals equals when friends wanted to go to the center of town, they took a bus or tram. I took the ball and went running after them. School was hell because I had to put the ball on the ground. Outside, I was free, playing the ball. Over the last few years, I've started to look more closely at the way coaches work to learn from them, not just here at the club but with the international team as well. I don't mind if my performances get dissected and people criticize what I've done on the pitch. They can talk about my game 24-7 for all I care. And a lot of those opinions and criticisms may actually be right. So I don't mind that. Arsenal fans are real lovers of the game. They don't miss anything in the stadium and are there for the team and the individual players. I have to admit I love banners like we don't need Batman, we've got Robin and stuff like that.